All right, today's two minute drill is about how to add movable props to your drill files. I've got a little setup here, uh, eight movable circular stages. And uh, of course we're gonna have the flutes move them and I'll just show you how to do it. It's real simple. It's moving props is just like moving uh, performers. Uh, pro tip as well, I like to use the black curtain uh, J, JPEG in the um, prop tool just to give it a little more dimension so that they're not uh, all solid white or solid black. I think it looks a little bit better. Um, just a little side note that I like to do. Okay, so you'll want to, obviously you'll want to have them uh, be charted, have the flutes charted to go to the props and then have the props transition with the flute. So we got two pages here, 16 counts, two sets of 16 where they're gonna move them. Now, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll move the props first. Select your props, okay? And we'll just have them move to the 40s um, at a 12 step front to back, why not? Mm, 40. Make sure we're good. So now you'll notice that the in 16 counts, the props have transitioned. Okay, and then you know their ending point. So now, go ahead and grab your flutes, okay, and plunk a flute on either side. Okay, I like to also use uh, a little extra thing I like to use is a visual. I always have them go to uh, upper body, layered pose three, because that looks more like uh, layered pose three, right? That looks like trail to me, okay? So now they are all at the props and ready to move them. And because you know their endpoint, you can chart them to go to the endpoints. That's why it's a little bit easier, I think, uh, to do this, uh, you know, props first, then performers. Select the whole thing if you'd like, and go facing, follow the direction of movement. And now you should have them moving their props. Okay, let's center it again, click your target, and go. They put their horns down, they march to the props, they grab the props, and they can face the proper direction and move them, and the animation looks exactly the way that a director or any client would want to see it. Uh, if your props aren't moving for a while, take a second and lock them in, and then that way you don't accidentally select them as you're writing your drill. Hope this has been a help to you. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel.